Hello and welcome back to episode 8 of Torment vs. Kid Icarus. Uh, last I left off, I died from a stupid eggplant wizard, which I'm going to die again from. Because there's, I don't know where the nurse's station is on this level. I haven't looked at maps or anything like that, so I'm just going to die if I get hit by an eggplant wizard. Uh, I'm on level 3-4, as you could see. Just go right past those guys. And it looks like the boss of this level has 200 health. snakes. Let's go ahead and see what's this way here. Ooh. Must be going the right way if there's eggplant wizards because the more difficult the enemy, that's the way to go. Oh, that's cool. Some love juices here, swig of water. And that's for you, Brandon. He's like, Every time you take a drink of water, it just makes me cringe. But I am fighting off a cold, and I need to keep hydrated. Ah, oh, stupid. Let's see if I could find the um, nurse's station. I have no idea where that, where that is. I only played this level like once. Shut up. Maybe the pencil heals me from eggplant curse. Yeah, right. This looks promising. Nope. I wouldn't put it past them. Oh. But that's the nurse's station though. At this point I should just die. Seriously. There's the shuckles again from Pokemon. Oh, cool. Thanks, slut. Just like my cat, Sky. Okay. Let's see if I get my bearings straight. So I think I'm going the right way. I hope so. Do you think we saw the last of the eggplant wizards? No. I'm sure we haven't. Heck alive. Dang. Heck of hit points. Just like John Cena. It takes like three finishers to get that guy out. Oh, you bastards.
Oh yeah, I died right around here last time. Oh, there they are. Hopefully, I'm almost to the boss. I haven't killed like any enemies at all on this level and these guys seem to die in one hit so I am not gonna go down there Oh wow, the boss already? Some floating head grimace looking thing from uh, McDonald's? Shoot him like in the mouth or something. And he's got 158 lives left. You know what I need? I need a little patience right now. Just a little bit of patience. And this guy will fall harder than a ton of bricks. boss so quick. I was not expecting that. And these little, those are his testicles flying around. He must have ball tension right now for going up against me. How's that for irony? The boss actually has ball tension. I am BT free. just reminded me to check the volume on the mic to make sure it's going okay because I hate not having volume. Ha, you could duck right under that sucker. As always saying, I have zero ball tension at this moment. That's his testicles flying around. He has all the BT. I wonder if you could hurt the testicles. Pow. Nope. Got 50 lives left. Sorry. Testicle guy, you're going down. I can tell you though, I hate taking only three lives on this on the bosses. Uh, I I think this guy's actually the easiest boss that I fought. No lava pits, no projectiles, boom. Still don't know what those do. Thank you for the points. Oh, what's this? Pit equipped himself with the three treasures. Oh, that's what those were. Awesome. Oh, I got 
the mirror shield. It's a pretty cool level. It's like this game has everything from platforming to Zelda dungeons. Ooh. What the heck is that thing? It's like a cyclops. Dang, I still am getting... Even though he's, he could fly now, it's still... Not that great of controls. He can't fly that well. He's still a little clumsy. But I think he's got some arrow thing, the wings and the mirror, and some type of fancy new helmet. Some ghosts. Some blue ghosts. Apparently that shield doesn't block the enemies from touching you. Man, I'm sucking so much on this. Whoa. You know what would be hecka tight is if they gave me like power-ups like on life force and radius. Flying claw hand thing. Ah! Idiot. Flying backwards, look at that. Like a box. See, what, what good is the shield if he can't block any projectiles? Just for looks, I guess? die here too. It's gonna suck. I will hope if I die I get all my health like they started me off with all my health. Sorry I gotta scratch my nose here. <clears throat> Got one hammer. Can't use it though. Seriously looping on me. Okay. At least I start off with all of my health. I mean, if I pay attention, I could totally dodge all this crap. I still have three, yep, I still have three arrows. I should have slowed down and tried to get more experience.
That's cool, I could fly through all the objects. I'm just supposed to keep going. I mean, I guess the good thing is that it's predictable. I mean, I know what kind of enemies are going to come next. I know there's an end game to it. Alright. Don't get hit, Brad. Oh, the ass grabbing things. Okay, I thought there was only two back of those. level twice and then you get to go to the boss to say that this game has been extremely fun and I'm going to go back through and play it again uh, just to do all the stuff that I might have missed uh, like gain more levels and stuff for some reason when I do these video recordings I always feel like I'm in a rush because I don't want to just sit there and gain like kill the snakes for two hours and have you guys watch that so I'll do that on my own time, but this actually has been really fun to play, even though the last couple parts were frustrating. 
I do have to thank Nick for challenging me to do this. Because otherwise, who knows why I would have played this. Back on episode 67, he challenged me. Wish I knew how many, hit, you know, how much hits it would take to kill it in your eye. Does that? Does my shield actually block those? Okay, that's Hecatite. Which I knew how many hits it would take. If I just stay back, you know, and move up and down and then dodge that snake thing, whatever comes out. I think I got it, as long as I get there without getting hit too many times. This guy always seems to want to freaking hit me. Oh, let's home in on him, guys. Except for those legs. They can't see shit. Like, oh, which way, guy? flowers first. I would imagine that this last boss would have more health than 200, but I really can't see. For one, they did give it a life bar, so that makes me think maybe only a certain number of shots will kill it. And because they don't want to, you know, maybe it'll die in 20 hits or whatever. And they don't want to make it seem like the other bosses had more life. About those things. Dang it, I need to stop talking. Focus. <coughs> oh, no, I was holding down. He automatically wants to fly up. He won't let me. Oh, okay, so he bounces off the clouds. That's why I bounced up. There goes his feet. Don't know how I dodged that without getting hit. And here come the stupid angels. The flowers. 
Kill that thing. This might be easier after all. Uh, do you even know where you're aiming, you stupid boss? You're gonna die if you don't do something. This seems be the ideal spot to just hit this boss. Two and one, look at that, two birds with one arrow. That actually makes you think that you have to move, but you really don't. Look at that. Is that Medusa? Take that, stupid bitch. Yay! Kaluta! Thanks for your love- thank you for your love juices. Heck yeah, I got a helmet. That was a pretty epic fight, I just had to stay there and time my hits right. Uh, it was a pleasure playing this for you guys. If you have any requests, oh, that was Medusa. Medusa was destroyed, and the light of peace returned to Angel Land. But in order to maintain peace, oh, that's so sick. Uh, thank you guys for letting me play this for you. Uh, I finally beat this game. If you have any suggestions, go ahead and uh, send it over to Treasure Hunting for Nostalgia at gmail.com. Uh, it was a real, again, it was a real pleasure playing this for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to us. Tell your friends about us for our podcast and our video game playthroughs. Uh, until next time, I will catch you later. Uh, hopefully we'll get Nick and Brandon on these too. And uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>